Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In my comment sections on a lot of my AC videos, I get a lot of questions asking me, hey, my AC is freezing up outside or inside. Do you have any idea what could be causing that? And fortunately, yes, I do have an idea of what could be causing that. In fact, there's eight reasons that I can think of of what can cause your air conditioner to freeze up. And believe it or not, but one of the most common reasons of why your AC is freezing up is a very dirty furnace filter. And if while you're watching this you're thinking to yourself, crap, I don't remember the last time I replaced my filter, chances are that is your problem. Also, if you're doing any kind of construction, sheetrock, any wood cutting, or even painting when you're sanding the walls, that fine dust will get sucked in by the return air and plug up your filter real quick. And when your filter gets really dirty, there's not enough airflow going through the evaporator coil, which causes the temperature of the refrigerant to drop because the air is not absorbing that cooling. And slowly that evaporator coil will start to frost up and then build up ice. So the condensation that's running down your coil and then going down that condensate drain, that condensation will start to freeze up and the longer you run it, the more it'll freeze. And eventually the line set, the Freon line set going outside will start to frost up as well. And then the unit outside, sometimes if you've been running it for a long time, this thicker line will start to freeze up, especially in the areas where there's no insulation all the way up into your condenser unit and if you look inside sometimes the compressor will be just a big block of ice too and another reason why your ac could be freezing up is if you have too many vents closed off or even worse if you have some of your return grills closed off so maybe you were moving around some furniture you put a couch in front of a return or something blocking it that will yield you similar results as having a plugged filter so if your ac is freezing up one thing you can try doing is opening up all your vents and making sure that all your return grills are opened up as well and i have seen this before where the customer would think that that big return grill is actually a register or a vent where the cold air blows out from but returns do not have shutoffs so what they would do is just put some kind of a paper over it or some cardboard and tape it up and of course, in a couple of days, their AC freezes over, and that's when we come out. Another common reason why your AC will freeze up is that the unit is low on refrigerant or low on Freon. And I know it sounds kind of weird that being low on Freon will cause your unit to freeze up, but the way it works is, without getting too technical, typically the temperature of the Freon that's going inside in the evaporator coil is about 38 degrees. And when you're low on Freon, Pressures and temperatures correlate, which means if one goes up, the other goes up. If one goes down, the other goes down. So if the temperature of the Freon inside the house at the evaporator coil is 38 degrees, if the pressure goes down, the temperature will go down as well. And once it gets below 32 degrees, that condensation that your evaporator coil is collecting is going to start freezing over. And again, the longer you run it, the more ice will build up on that A-coil, and eventually the ice will travel outside and to the compressor as well. Now, if you've noticed that your AC unit has frozen over like that, there's no point to continue running it because it's not doing much cooling and all it's doing is building up more ice. At that point, I would turn off your air conditioner and turn your fan setting on the thermostat from auto to on to keep that furnace fan on. And it'll take sometimes a day or even two, depending on how much ice you have built up there, to thaw that ice out. And once it starts melting, keep in mind that the ice will not always go neatly down into the drain pan. It will go down the sides of your furnace and inside of your furnace. If you have like some kind of carpet or wood around your furnace, I would put down some towels. And be expecting that there will be a little puddle underneath your furnace as that ice will thaw. And unfortunately, Freon issues are not exactly a do-it-yourself kind of project. You would need some expensive tools, plus the refrigerant or the Freon, which you need a license to buy. And you do have to be educated on what you're doing to be able to recharge the unit properly. Another thing that can cause your air conditioner to freeze up is if you're setting your thermostat too low. The lowest set point that most air conditioners are designed for is about 67 degrees. So if you're setting your air conditioner to like 62 for some reason, because you're really hot or something, there is a good chance that your air conditioner will start to freeze up. So really the lowest you should go on the thermostat is about 67, 68. And another reason why your AC could be freezing up is if your blower motor is not working inside of the furnace. If it's burnt out or maybe the capacitor for it is either weak or dead, if that blower motor is not spinning, there's no air going across that evaporator coil, it will freeze up in minutes. And of course, the longer you keep the outside unit running without the fan inside running, the more ice will build up on that thing. And many times if your motor inside the furnace is trying to start, but it's failing because either the bearings are burnt out or the windings are opened, if you take off the bottom doors of the furnace and just reach in there and carefully touch the motor, 
it'll most likely be really hot to the touch. If it is really hot, then there's a good chance that that motor is burnt out. But if you want to know more about how to check that blower fan inside the furnace, I do have a video on how to check that in my AC playlist. Just go into the playlist, uh, it's in my description, and just find that video, how to check a motor inside the house. Another thing that I see once in a while is that the actual control board will be bad inside the furnace. So the board is simply not sending power to the blower motor, therefore it is not turning on and blowing air. So don't automatically assume that your motor is bad, perhaps it is simply not getting power. And I have a video for that too, how to troubleshoot a control board and the motor. Between those two videos you should be able to figure out which one of them is the culprit. And in the blower motor video I actually show a way of how to check it without a meter too. So if you don't have a meter there is still a way to check your motor without a meter. And we're not quite done yet, there's two more reasons why your AC can be freezing up. Another reason why your air conditioner could be freezing up is if your metering device, which is at the evaporator coil, is plugged up. <clears throat> Usually it'll either be a TXV metering device or a fixed orifice or a piston. And how that could happen is if you have some kind of a contaminant inside of your Freon loop, the inside of the copper pipes where the Freon is spinning around, if there's some kind of moisture or debris, some dirt, that metering device is actually just a really small tiny hole. So it will not take much to get that thing plugged up. And if there is some kind of blockage blocking that metering device and the Freon is having a hard time going through, that will lower the pressure inside of that evaporator coil. And if you remember how I mentioned earlier, the lower pressures equal lower temperatures. And once again, that would cause the condensation on your evaporator coil to freeze up. And unfortunately, this too is not exactly a do-it-yourself type of project. You probably will have to call a technician to figure that one out for you as well. And I promise this is the last one. One more reason why your AC could be freezing up is if that evaporator coil, which on most units is above the furnace, sometimes if you have a downflow furnace, it'll be below, or if you have a horizontal one, it's either on left or right side, just see where your Freon lines are coming into it, and that's where it is. But anyway, if your evaporator coil is plugged up, let's say you forgot to put in a filter at one point, or your filters are dirty often, whatever dust gets by that filter will go up and get settled into that evaporator coil from underneath. And the evaporator coil is almost like a little radiator with the fins. So if there's a lot of dust that gets under there, it will start to blanket the bottom of that, which will also restrict the airflow, causing the same effect as having a really plugged filter. Generally, cleaning the bottom of the A-coil can be pretty tough. If you're lucky, you'll have a cased coil where you just take out a couple of screws and the panel comes off, revealing your A-coil, and you can get to it that way. Other times, you can try to take apart the plenum that's encasing that A-coil, or you can cut a hole in it try to get to the bottom of it and then patch up that hole afterwards. But keep in mind, if you're going to try doing this yourself, try not to move around that coil too much because if you kink those refrigerant lines going into the coil, then it's really a bad day. And if that is your problem, your evaporator coil is plugged, another option would be to call a duct cleaning company, the ones that clean your ducts, and ask them to clean your evaporator coil from underneath. Now, cleaning the A-coil can be kind of a nuisance, so most duct cleaners will not clean your A-coil unless you specifically ask them. And I am finally done listing my reasons of why your AC can freeze up. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch it all the way till now. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out, and we'll see you next time.